My name is Kurt Schonauer, and my title with the USGS is Hydrologist. USGS has had a pretty long history with uh, Lake Powell. Beginning in about 1921, um, prior to Lake Powell, uh, we have a, a stream flow gauge on the Colorado River at Lee's Ferry that uh, began collecting data in 1921. And then <clears throat> when the dam was completed in 1963, um, uh, that, which is Glen Canyon Dam that created Lake Powell. Um, the uh, USGS was collecting physical and chemical parameters uh, for water quality. Getting ready to collect a lake bed sample. And I'm going to use a device called a ponar or clamshell. Anyway, it's lowered down through the water column and scoops up the nice sample of the lake bed material. I'll pull it back up and then we'll uh, take some samples out of the ponar, put them in jars, we'll analyze for uh, metals, uh, hydrocarbons or PAHs, and also we'll do sediment size analysis. What we have here is our employment canisters for our passive samplers, our SPMDs, and what we do is Take this lid off, inside there's a post, and the samplers come on a small disc that they're wrapped on, and that disc has a hole in the middle which will just slide over this screw, and then we'll deploy it into the water. What are you measuring with these? This we're measuring uh, polycyclic aromatic hydrocarbons. Uh, and those cover a lot, a lot of things, uh, plasticizers, they cover um, hydrocarbons, various hydrocarbons we're gonna be looking at. And one of the main things, the reasons why we're doing this is to look at uh, hydrocarbons that are the result from uh, unburned fuel products from two-stroke engines. The results from this study concluded that the highest concentrations of both polycyclic aromatic hydrocarbons and inorganic elements were found in the southern half of the lake near high traffic areas for boats. Um, although concentrations that were found, uh, none exceeded the Environmental Protection Agency's maximum contaminant level. So in general, the, the quality of water on Lake Powell is, is very high. USGS looks forward to partnering with the National Park Service uh, for future projects and uh, monitoring 